In today's class, we will learn about date operations in ABAP. As a BW consultant, we very frequently come across a situation where we want to extract certain range of data. And that certain range of data keeps on changing as the day passes by. So we need to prepare some dynamic code wherein as the date passes, based on the system current date, it is going to calculate that range. This is the application where we will be using this date operation. So let's dive in and look what are all the date operations that we can perform in order to achieve our requirement. Data type D is for creating date variables. Now its syntax for that it will be data D1 type D. So in this case, the D would be in format of YYYMMDD, so year, month, date format. At the front end, we will be giving in in DDMMYY format as per the front end setting of our SAP system. But in the back end, whenever any operation happens, the SAP system converts the given date of any format into YYYMMDD. There are three types of operations can be performed on date variable. The first one is adding a number. So if you want to add 5th January 1880 plus 3, uh, 3 may be days or anything as per the logic. So that is possible and it's a valid statement and the output will be a date variable. So 5 plus 3 is 8th. January 1880 and also point to be noted here is that it's not just that it is going to blindly add the values if a date is on 31st December 1880 and if we try to add one over there then it will automatically increment the year and said the final year would be 1st Jan 1881 so this is the first operation that can be done on date variables the next one is we can perform a subtraction also so from a given date we can subtract number of days and the output will be its respective value. In this case, it's 15th Gen minus 4. So the output is coming out to be 11th Gen. If we are subtracting one day from 1st January 1880, then in this case also, the output would be 31st December 1879. So these all calculations are considered while giving the output. And the third one is subtracting two date variables. So here we can perform two dates and the output will be an integer value which will give us the difference between these two days. And of course, if the second value is greater than the first value, we will get the output in negative days. So these are the three basic operations that can be performed on date variables, which we will be using to obtain our requirement. So let's head on to our example program. The first one is program to accept date from end user and to find its weekday name. So let's suppose if an end user has given a value 1st Jan 2017, the output that should come over here is Sunday because if you go we go back and check your calendar it was Sunday on 1st Jan 2017 so let's get onto the ABAP editor and start coding so in the interest of time I've already written this code so that we can focus on logic rather than writing so I've defined a parameter gdate which is of type D so end user will be giving the date value which will be stored in gdate the next one is the reference date which is of type D and a default value of 1900-0101 is stored. And we are assuming this date to be Monday. The next one is num days, type integer. Remainder, it's again of type integer. And lastly, the day name, it's of type character and its length is 10. Now in the 15 line, we are performing a subtraction of given date with the reference date. So if the difference of these dates is seven, then you can see if we add 7 to this number, then we again land up on day Monday. And if we further add 14 to that number, we again land up on Monday. So if we are adding numbers with a multiple of 7, we are coming up with the same day. Which means that if we find the mod, which means the remainder, and if it is a 0, then that day would be Monday. So to explain it better, let me pull in this image. So at this point in time, you can see the reference date is 190101 and we are assuming that the given date is 190108. Now the num day, that is the difference between these two days is of seven days. Take a mod of this seven, the remainder is zero. So we divide seven by seven, we get remainder as zero and we are marking that day to be Monday. Now let's move ahead. If the given day is 9th January 1900 and we are subtracting it with 1st of January, then the number of days is 8. When we take a mod with 7, and then its remainder comes out to be 1. 
because 8 by 7, 7 1 times is 7 and so 8 minus 7 is 1. So 1 is the remainder and so on and so forth. If we keep on incrementing the value, we will be getting the remainder as 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. So thus apply this remainder value mod function so that it will calculate it will calculate the remainder value. Then finally using a case statement, we have written 6 different cases of different remainder values. When it is 0, then the day name value is Monday and if it is 1, then the day name value is Tuesday and if it is 2, then the day name value is Wednesday and so on. Finally, we are ending this case statement and we will write writing a statement. The day on given date is the day name. So this is a pretty straightforward. So let's execute this program and see. Let's check this. Activate it and execute it. So let's give some value 14th December 2018. Yeah, I'm pressing F8. So the day on 14th December 2018 is Friday. So let me pull in the, that month for you guys. Yeah, so this is it. On 14th December 2018, it's Friday. Let's take one more example. Uh, 0101 of 2022. Yeah, press F8. So the day on 1st January 2022 is Saturday. Let's pull in the calendar for that month as well. Yeah. So on 1st January 2022 is Saturday. So let's debug this program and see how each and every statements gets executed. So I'm coming out, press F3, setting a breakpoint, activating it, and execute. So let's take this and F8. So we are in a BAP editor. Let's press desktop 3. And what is the GDA value? It's 2022, 1st of Jan. The reference date is 1900, 1st of Jan. The num days is 0, remainder is 0, day name is blank. So let me press F5. The num days value is 44,560. So these are the number of days, basically the difference. Now, when we do the mod of this, let, let's press F5 again. Then we get the, its remainder value to be 5. So in our case statement, the 5 value is for day name Saturday. And let's press F8. Yeah, so the day on 1st of January 2022 is Saturday. So let's take a few more examples on it in the next class.